Hey, what is going on, guys? Dave from Wake Up It's Football and with the Sports Network, bringing you guys the top five coaches who are on the hot seat. It is the midpoint of the season, so let's kind of start talking about those guys who might be out after the 2013 season. At number five, you've got Gary Kubiak of the Houston Texans. Right now, his Houston Texans are at two and five, and, and not too many people will probably think that the Texans are uh, one of the teams at the bottom of the AFC South at this point, the other being the Jacksonville Jaguars. But uh, they are. They're, they're a 2-5. A lot of injuries have plagued that team so far this season. And they just haven't really had solid quarterback play for Matt Schaub, who is now benched for uh, quarterback Case Keenum. So we're going to see how that goes. But don't be surprised if a move is made kind of like where Lovey Smith went 10-6 and six last year with the Bears and was still you know released. I know the Houston Texans have had a lot of success in the last couple of seasons, but right now they're at 2-5. and five. How many more times are we going to say, I think this is the Houston Texans' year, and they just don't get it done? This year, slow start. At number four, Jason Garrett of the uh, Dallas Cowboys. And, and yeah, I understand that they're leading this division at this point. Uh, yeah, I know Jason Garrett is a, a very, you know, pr pr pretty good coach. They're 4-4. Four and four. The thing is with that, though, they have not won the division a couple of years at least. They haven't been relevant in the NFC East. Last year they were one game away from the playoffs and they weren't able to get it done. How many more times, this is another team, how many more times are we going to sit here and say, I think the Cowboys can get it done this year and they just don't do it. Sometimes you need to change it up. You need to change scenery. You need to get Jason Garrett out of there. If they don't win the division this year, I think Jason Garrett might go. And number three, uh, I think I'm going to go with uh, Leslie Frazier of the Minnesota Vikings. Vikings are 1-6. and six. It, there, There's been uh, a lot of controversy at the quarterback position now that they've brought in Josh Freeman, formerly of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So what do you do there? Do you need to change it up? I mean, there was talks today since it was the end of the trade deadline. You know, they wanted to get rid of uh, Jared Allen. They, they were not able to do that. Are they going to try and press the restart button there and, and kind of gut the entire organization from head coach to players to personnel? We don't know, but if that does happen, I would not be surprised if Leslie Frazier, Frazier does go. Again, the Vikings are sitting at 1-6. and six. The Jacksonville Jaguars are sitting at 0-7. And Gus Bradley, you know, even though it's his first seven games coaching in the NFL as a head coach, you, you got to win a game. You you, you, you better win a game. Uh, or Sorry, they're not even 0-7. They're 0-8. You have to win a game. You can't. Are you going to go 1-15? Are you going to give yourself a pat on the back if you at least win a game? You've got to do something. You've got to change it up. We see this a lot of times with organizations who are struggling. They'll bring in a coach for one year. If he doesn't get it done at 4-12 and or 5-11, and they might let him go. Gus Bradley hasn't even won a game, so don't be surprised if he's gone by the end of the year. And at number one, Greg Schiano. Last year I mentioned the New York Jets as a circus. I think that circus traveled down to Tampa Bay this year. Greg Schiano and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are a mess. They're 0-7, haven't won a game so far this year. And uh, there's a lot of problems. There's rumors that he's lost the locker room. The players aren't really uh, f feeling his, his style of uh, play calling. Uh, Josh Freeman, I, I, I want to say that he ran Josh Freeman out of Tampa Bay, but uh, that's just me. Point is, I think out of all the guys that I've mentioned, Greg Schiano is going to be the one that leaves. I think Greg Schiano for sure is not going to be back with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, he pretty much kind of messed that organization up. Right now they got Mike Lennon in at quarterback for them, who is a rookie. So uh, if I missed any coaches, if there's any coaches that you guys think are on the hot seat, throw those names down in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That's all I got for you guys today. Again, Dave from Wake Up, it's football and with the Sports Network.